Hey, yeah, 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 hey, stop. We're already here? here. Yeah, that's right. We're here. Let's uh -huh. go down and check. All right, we've reached the place. This has got to be it. I know this forest very well, like the back of my hand. And I can tell the difference between Russian guns by ear. Just Makarov, for example. I didn't recognize that one. And then I think there was only one shot. All right, let me guess. It could possibly be some kind of Glock or Colt. You'll never know now. But I am certain that it was a pistol. When I got here, I didn't see anyone at all. I think they've run away. Blood. It's just my speculation. I guess I should apologize, Marina. You were right. I'll open the investigation immediately, so we could search for Pavel Adriv. Let's take a blood sample. Take it easy. Oops. Please be careful. Don't be in a hurry, okay? Take it easy. All right, do it slowly. You are still too weak right now. Slowly. Come on. Take a seat. It's okay, you will get better soon. Just be patient. I'm here. Hello, good morning. Good morning, my dear. I decided to come here before my work. I think you're doing great. You look much better. Oh, wait, let me see. Hey, boy, don't worry too much. You remember Tatiana? I'll just take a look. She's an assistant at our hospital. Uh-huh. I'll just clean the sutures. Well, thank you very much for helping us. You should have called me from the beginning. Do you remember me? Sorry, I don't remember you. Honestly, we can't blame you for that. Uh, it's been ages since you last met, and you were just a toddler back then. Is he a toddler? I'm only seven years younger. <laughs> Wait, do you remember me? Don't worry about that. Well, you were severely wounded. Sometimes a short-term memory loss is common to happen. Will I recover? Hmm. Of course, but it will take a little time. Vasily, I suppose you kept some old photos of Alexei? Do you still have them? Of course. I have those pictures. You should show him those pictures. Uh. It's very important. I know that those pictures will help you to remember what happened from your past life. Does it hurt? It's all right. Okay. Well, I'm sure you'll get better. Here you go. Don't worry, we'll just look through them today. All right, after this, I'll be going to work. Thank you very much, Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Please take care. Well, Vasily, could you see me out? Please get better. Oh, of course, I'll follow you. I will be back. May I ask you not to tell anyone about this? Don't worry, I'll take it to the grave. Oh, please. Just stop it, okay? Imagine he was almost one foot in the grave, and you're still joking about it. My bad, I'm sorry for that. Can you be honest with me? Just answer my question. Is he your son, Alexei? So who else? When I washed off the blood when I saw him, it really hurt me as a father. I'm glad he decided to return home to me, especially this time. I really don't know. You haven't heard from him for 16 years, and now he's back. Oh, well. Whatever you say. He's like a son to me. I beg you. Just don't tell anyone about this. Mm -hmm. All right, just go to work. Dima, please just hang in there. We will be there in a minute. Just a moment, okay? Ivan isn't really a genius professor, but he's a nice doctor. Please hang in there. Just bear with me now. So tell me, have you heard anything about that guy from the train? 
Nothing. Nobody said anything. Well, you know what I think? I really don't care. You're such a blabbermouth. I didn't tell anyone. I can't even sleep. Honestly, every time I close my eyes, I see his body. And I thought, what if he survived? What the? Are you insane? Just stop thinking about it. Unless you want to end up right now behind bars till the end of your days. You know, you're really useless. Oh, Lord. Dima, I called Tatiana, uh, and I'm certain she will help you. I'll just wait here in the van. Are you all right? I'll be fine, don't worry. Dima, tell me what happened. Don't worry. I'm all right. Please just call Ivan. It was half an it's hour ago. It's good that you're already here. Let's get inside, Let's okay? Let's Excuse me, Ivan. Dima's here. He's not good. Please check his condition. He's waiting for you. But Tatiana, I'm having my lunch. It's not an hour, just 30 minutes. Please don't disturb me. How could you? But he's as white as a sheet. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe he was just drunk. He's known to consume a lot of booze. What booze? You know that he doesn't drink, not even a bottle of beer. Then maybe it's all your fault. Women are often the cause. You get it. <clears throat> I guess I'll have a look. Check in! So here, take a look. This one. Actually, this is the most recent photo that I have here. And do you remember the bike? Was this you? Yeah, it was me. So this is mom? Yes, she's your mom. Do you recognize her? Now, can you remember her? Mm -hmm. Not really. All right. Okay, let's take a look at some other photos. <laughs> look at this. It's you, Alexei Kolesnikov. If you look closely, you're just six months old here. Mm -hmm. Well, your mom was only 21 years old at that time. She's Anastasia. Okay, let's see the other pictures over here. This is you. Uh-huh. Look closely. This was you and your friends. Can you recognize this guy? The one who is greeting is Dennis, your friend. That guy. There, you see that? Mm -hmm. No? <laughs> well, let's go on. Let's check more photos here. Here, look. She's still very young here, you know her? She's very pretty. You're right, she's pretty. Do you remember her? I don't. You really can't remember her? It's Tatiana, she called on us this morning and yesterday too. Don't tell me you already forgot about her. These were her friends, Irina and Nastya. Mm. Nastya. Nastya, do you recall her? Mm. All right then, this was you after your prom. You're too handsome here, am I right? <laughs> okay. Shall we continue? Um, about Mother. Where is she? She was younger than me. She was 12 years younger. Well, to be honest, I was old for her. That time, she was working in the hospital. It was winter when she went to the village. The driver survived, but your mom didn't. It was a crash. It was a car accident. Are you okay, boy? Tell me, are you okay? What happened? Hold on, wait a minute. I'll get you something. Drink this. Here, come on, take this. Drink it. I wonder who's the one making that noise. All right, be careful. Hey, Vasily, sorry for bothering you. All Please right, help I'm us. Here. Dima is really feeling Take unwell. Easy, okay, what about Ivan? He already uh, examined him. He said it was nothing. It was just inside. food poisoning. Be careful. He only gave us a pill. Dima is getting worse Take right now. Hand. Please look at him. Let's see what happened. Probably it's food poisoning. Look at him. His forehead is sweaty and cold. The liver and the intestines fine. were fine. What else happened? Honestly, he threw up an hour ago. Oh, does he have a fever? Well, I haven't got fever at all. There are symptoms of hypoxia. 
hypoxia, the production of the metabolism is accumulated. Blood flow and all the oxygen levels are decreasing. Venous stasis occurs as a result of cardiac insufficiency. Blood clot formation in the vessels prevents the blood from circulating, as you can see right now. Prevents the blood from circulating, as you can see right now. Thrombosis. Dima, have you ever had any heart problems? No, he has never had any heart pain. Right, Dima? Can you please tell us? No, I haven't. Tatiana, he has thrombosis. It's chronic cardiac insufficiency. Oh my god, why didn't I think about that? Uh, come on, hurry up! How could I not even notice this? It's an please emergency! Please take care of him! Hurry up, let's Just go to the go right now. All right, he will come be on. fine. Please tell Ivan to put hurry him on up. a diet to lower the cholesterol. All right, hurry up. Go now. Be careful, okay? So who made you think about the legs? I got no idea. This is nonsense. I'll go take a look at the photos. It's nonsense. Good it's afternoon. all set. But you should know that the car plates are only fixed in case of a traffic violation. Just a fat chance. Well, the traffic is low on the highway. After all, we just know the approximate time. Good afternoon, Just wait sir. here. No problem. Good morning. What happened about the case? Did you bring the evidence? I'll send it to you later. Thank you. So here's the start. Look at the date and time. Okay. Now let's see. I think we should... Oh, stop! Can you rewind that part? Hey, that's him! Pavel! <laughs> that white blur? How can you say it's him? Even the plate is blurred. I agree that the picture is blurred, but I'm sure that's him. Well, I already told you it's out of my jurisdiction. I think you better use your connections. They could have come back. Let's see a bit more. Marina, listen. Why should they go back to Rysk? Look, I've done everything I could just for you. But please, let's just check. There's still a chance. All right, let's check again. Thank you. Yes? Speaking. All right, I'll take a look. Stop! That's it. The same car is coming back. Yeah, you were right. I think this is quite weird. So, is there a chance to check cameras in Rysk? Well, Marina, I don't think that... All right, all right, you... I do understand. You don't care about it even a bit. But this man is the best neurosurgeon in the city. He came here to Rysk just to save lives. Then he disappeared after an operation. Okay, I see, I get it. Don't make a monster out of me. Let's take a look first. Let's do it. This is the camera. They were here at exactly 2.14. Their speed was 53 miles per hour. The next is on two miles at 2.30. Where were they for 20 minutes? I don't understand. It's just a one-way road. Oh. Hey, what are you doing now? Then you can issue a fine. It's a dead end and the switchyard. There's no road here. Then we'll walk across. Sorry for asking this. This man we're searching is more than just a friend to you, am I right? Hey, excuse me. Do you have a light? I don't smoke. Oh, well, you're good for nothing. Hey, you, hold on! Where did you find those sneakers? Pavel had the same pair. It's none of your business, on, they're sir. mine. Where did you find them? 
They're given by God. Wait, hold on. Uh. Oh, crap. Well, I just found Please them in a ditch. Where. Did I do anything wrong? We should check the sneakers for blood and fingerprints. Hey, wait, mister, take them off. No, no way, officer. I don't want to walk barefoot. Just I'm take sorry. them off. Where did you find them? Well, over there. Uh, I found it in a small ditch on the right of the railway. Only these sneakers? Well, unfortunately, yes. But, officer, uh, do you only need the sneakers? Only I'll the take sneakers. It off. Well, officer, don't be shy. Take everything you no, want. Just go you. ahead, all right? Please, just go ahead. All right, I have a lot of stuff in here. I'm just thinking of getting rid of it. Believe me, no one was willing to. But only you. Of course, you can take everything. You need it oh, more than I do. shoot. Well, I don't care if oh. I walk without those sneakers. But I can't believe you need to take it from me. Use this. You know what? Don't get me wrong, but I should tell you something. I've worked here for ages. If your friend was taken to the railroad, then they wanted to get rid of the body. I think they threw him in a freight train and that's it. So good luck finding your friend. I'll come back tomorrow. Will you come around in the morning? Here are the keys. Thanks, Pavel. We just need to find out which train stopped here that night. Hey, come on. There could be hundreds of them, Marina. So now, do you plan to check every station? Yes. But Marina, do you even have any idea of their traffic route? I don't route? care. I it's have too to much. searching. Oh, hey there, Glasha. Glasha? Hey, Vasily. I guess Alexei is getting better right now. He could be able to go out soon. He can't sit at home all the time just like a monk. He should go out. Well, I don't understand, though. Where has he been all this time? Glasha, and he didn't even send a letter to you. Well, Glasha, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I just found him here, barely alive. Somebody shot him. He will remember that, and he'll tell me if he wants to. For now, I won't ask him anything about what happened. Perhaps he felt offended. Or his life changed and he didn't want to come back to us. To his past, or to his sins either. Honestly, I feel that he's a different person right now. Alexei has changed a lot, you know. I can see that you like him, don't you, Tatiana? <laughs> hey, be honest, you like him, right? Oh, come on. Just face the truth, Tatiana. I've seen a lot during my life. I can't understand what's really going on. I may like many people, you know. I don't think it's bad to actually support a person and help him out. Well, you're right. Thank you so much for helping Alexei. He really needs a friend to be with him right now. Thank you, Vasily. Hey, wait. Do you yes. remember how to mm -hmm. infuse the herbs? Okay, thanks. Glasha, bye-bye. Tomorrow I'll show Alexei around. Maybe it'll help him remember something. I'll keep going. Good okay, night, Glasha. Take care. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. <laughs> Marina. So are you sure these are his sneakers? Yes, I'm sure. 
All right. You know that I can run these plates through the system. But you know as well as I do that even if we find something, it's not enough. We need more. And even if they use this car to kidnap Andriev, I'm sure that it's just going to come up as stolen in the report. Marina, this is pointless. Are you done talking? Yes. Run the plates. Do it, please. I'm sure that Pavel is alive. Please, that's enough, Marina. Can't you see this is just a fool's errand? This is torture. Another waste of our yes, time. that's enough. Call me when you have something. Do it. All right, then. If that's your wish, my princess. I'm serious. <sighs> Hey, are you home, Vasily? Are you there? Hey, oh, hello Vasily. there. What Good happened? Morning. Why are you here? I have a favor. Maybe you have some magic herbs for my daughter, Julia, so, so that she could lose some weight. Please, she can't stop gaining weight after eating meals for three people. I already told her to stop eating because no one will marry such a boy. Uh, now she's getting please, too Please, will you finally stop hammering her every spare minute? She is my daughter, and I know better how best to treat her. Time has changed now. People have gotten too nice. Open your eyes, Vasily. Please just look around you. In the village, you can count all the men just using your right hand. Well, it's not that easy I to get married these you. days. I really think you shouldn't be so harsh on your daughter. It won't bring you any happiness at all. Because chickens come home to roost. Listen, will you stop lecturing me here? Just tell me what to do. Get some horseradish. You're serious? Give it to your daughter. Well, you can boil it if you like. Or chop it and put it into salad. That will lessen her appetite. I'm sure of that. All right, go home. Okay, thank you. Finally. <laughs> well, everybody left the village when the plant closed, five years ago. But before that, many people lived here. Mm, I guess around 10,000 people. That's why there were a few youngsters left. And some come home for the summer. Uh -huh. So the only doctors are just Ivan and I. What is this? Oh, that's nothing. Come on, let's go on. Remember the bungee? Boys used to have a lot of fun here. <laughs> and I was too scared to jump, but you were not. You were so brave. And that's the swing. We used to play here when we were little. Tell me, do you remember anything now? I don't. Oh, it was fun. Here's the police station. Well, it's always been here. What's this? The school? Do you remember? Oh, no, I don't. I just guessed. Actually, there used to be a cafe here called Wave. I remember it had a dolphin on its logo. Then we would buy ice cream there. We would buy all the different flavors. That time, <laughs> I really loved buying orange, pistachio, and also... Hello, Nastya. And this is? He's Alexei, remember? Hello. Hello? Is that all you have to say to me? You'll just say hello? <laughs> Are you okay? Does it hurt? I didn't expect that. She must know me very well. It happened so long ago and I don't want to- Hold on. No. Let's go to the cafe and you can it's tell okay. me- It's okay. Let's go home. You're tired. Tatiana, are you afraid that someone else will remember me there? I'm not afraid. Let's go inside. Let's go. Do you know what happened? It's true. I heard that she's getting in. I heard a different story. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Well, How's your leg? Right. That's great to hear. I don't have time to talk to you. Oh, he that. bought me a good present. Good afternoon. Lovely. So, tell me about your husband. Julia. Good afternoon. May we have some tea? Or do you like some coffee? Just tea. We'll have two cups of tea. <laughs> All right, I'll make Thank it, you. sir. Why are you so slow? No, bring this outside. I'm not! That is Ala and her daughter, Julia. Ala's been working here for her whole life, and Julia started about five years ago. She told me recently that she wanted to leave and study at a university, but her mother didn't let her. I pity Julia for that. Please tell me what happened, Tatiana. Oh, wait. I think it's... You. We were crying our eyes out, and you just... Came back. You really have no shame. Tell him to leave this place right now. 
I don't ever want to see him here. So do you remember me? Zoya, please, let's not talk about it right now. Go out. Leave now. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. Hurry up. What's happening? Oh, it can't be him. It's Jordan. Alexei is back. So everyone here knows me then? So I'm sorry, I didn't know it would be like this. We'd better get out of here. Do you want me to get you some water? I'll come back in a moment. You want to go home? Julia, what happened? She just fainted, but she says she's feeling better now. Everything's fine. I'm okay. Chloasma facial pigmentation is common during pregnancy, during the gestation period. This is chloasma, right? What did you say? Be honest with me. Are you pregnant? I'm not. What did you say? Are you pregnant? Be honest with me. Are you pregnant? I'm not. I told you a number of times. Julia, if you get pregnant, we're getting married. I'll marry you, okay? Go start the car. We're going I to the hospital. I can't go to the hospital. My mom will kill me. I can't Julia, go there. Julia, calm Please down. Take can't. a seat. Please, don't be silly. We'll go to the hospital and everything's going to be fine. Please don't worry. I'm here. Alexei, how uh, do you know that medical word, claw asthma? What is that? Well, you just said it. Oh, uh, uh, I did say it, but what is it? It's the facial pigmentation during pregnancy. Oh, wow. For now, we'll keep you for one more day. Till then, we'll observe your condition. Doc, are you crazy? I already told you that I'm perfectly fine. If you don't like the treatment, you can just go somewhere else. I hear a hermit's taking patience. That's what a crazy doctor would say. Ivan, please, I didn't want to go to him. Tatiana asked me to. It wasn't Vasily who came up with a diagnosis, but his son, Alexei. He actually said about thrombosis in the legs. And you were the one who told me that it was food poisoning. Did you tell me anything about your heart problem? Or do I need to read what's going on in your mind? What do you want? I didn't want Tatiana to know about it. It's not gonorrhea. It's no secret. <sighs> All right, what are we up to? Hi there, Ivan. Hmm. We have a pregnant girl. She suddenly fainted outdoors. Well, I think she should relax a bit and go into town. She says she has contractions. It already started early this morning. <sighs> Listen, that's not my decision. And according to law, we have to send her to a perinatal center. We don't even have an obstetrician. Now send her to town. What if she starts giving birth on her way? You should call an ambulance for her. <sighs> Fine, I'll do my best. Just don't examine her. What happened to you? Nothing happened to me. Then get out of here. But my girlfriend is inside. I said get uh, out. Uh, the two of you shouldn't even be here. Julia, are you ready now? Please just lie here. Be careful. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Just relax. Do you even know that you should have gone to the prenatal clinic in the city? I'm not going anywhere. Mom will kill me if she finds that. She wanted me to find a decent and rich husband, but I met Zhenya and Quiet. Then, and then I forgot about everything. Zhenya's such a good man. Actually, he's too kind for me. I really like him a lot. <sighs> Don't tell me you don't smoke, man. Turns out I don't. Didn't you know about that? Oh, I forgot. Look, did you say how many weeks? Not really, but Tatiana says it's 39 to 40 weeks. Well, I don't understand it. When she'll give birth? It's really very soon. And we're still not married. Well, that's because of her crazy mother. She fears her like the plague and... Genia! Yes? Go to Julia and time the breaks between the contractions. Do you get it? Right. Okay, do you have a watch? Yes, I do. This will be useful later. Okay. Now go to her. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do if she starts giving birth. I learned in theory, of course, but I've had no practice. I don't know how to do it. And Ivan is just good for nothing. I know it will take ages for the ambulance just to get here. It will be all right. I hope so. 
Tatiana. Yes? I'll call them again and say that she started giving birth. You mm-hmm. should get in touch with her but brother. But which brother? Well, uh, Yuri or... You know it. Oh. He's a police officer. I'm sure he'll find I a way to it, get here. I got it, I got it. Mm-hmm. Hey, you'll be okay. Shh, calm down, sweetie. Everything will be okay. Please calm down. I hope you have told me sooner about your situation. If you really told me about your pregnancy, then I would propose to you. I'm serious about getting down on one knee for you. Are you silly? Have you been carrying that around? Of course. <laughs> Give me your hand. Julia, will you marry me? Yes. <sighs> Thanks. Finally. <sighs> well, she's feeling better now, but you should come here as fast as you can. Okay, I'll be waiting. Mm, Yura seems to be fine. He's a policeman, but I think later he will really beat Jenya up. Guys, I think she'll deliver the baby. Yes, please, come as soon as you can. Yes. <sighs> please calm down, I'm here, Julia. <sighs> Her water already broke. This isn't a contraction. She's in labor, Ivan. It has already started. What do you want me to do? The ambulance is already on the way. That's good. Now let's ask the baby to wait for the ambulance. Please calm down, Julia. You're getting too loud, okay? Give me your hand. Just breathe like a dog, okay? <sighs> right. Julia, I need to see how dilated you are. No, 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 no. I'll just wait for the ambulance. I don't want you to look Tatiana, down there. bring water and new bed sheets right now. Mm-hmm. We have to get ready. Julia, just no, relax. Don't. And now, I have to listen to the baby. Wait, 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 how? Where? How'd you do that, huh? Give it to me. This one? Yes. Uh, here. The belly. All right, I wait. You're fully dilated. But the baby isn't even crowning yet. All right, Julia. Let's do this. Increased fetal heart rate may result in dangerous or even lethal consequences. Given this situation, the labor must be paused. (laughs) Gyneprol. What do we need, Gyneprol? Gyneprol eases the uterine hypertonus. Shall I grab it? What do we need that for? The baby is experiencing hypoxia, and there's no vacuum. I can't do a C-section. The sooner that she gives birth, the better. Especially for the baby. Easy, we'll be okay. Calm down. Shh. Don't worry, you'll be alright. Wait, Alexei, why did you mention Gyneprol? Well, it's just during contraction, the heartbeat is truncated. What are you even talking about? Shh. You'll be okay, don't worry. Okay. You need to get out immediately. Okay, get out. take it easy, okay? That goes for you as well. Get out of here. Ivan, we need to try it. Listen, I don't have a choice but to deliver the baby now. And if I give her the wrong medication, I'll be held responsible. I'm just doing my job. Who is that guy? Alexei Kolesnikov. Kolesnikov? That Kolesnikov? Mm Mm-hmm. Are you crazy? Gyneprol is used in emergency situations to pause the labor for some time and to increase the exchange of blood inside the placenta. You. Uh, what's the Where's problem? Julia? She's there. What are you oh, saying? Why is she she's there? She's giving birth. <sighs> she's giving birth. Julia's giving birth? And what are you doing here then? Well, the truth is, I'm the baby's father. Oh, so you're the father? Listen, if you don't marry her, you're gonna wish that you had never been born! Yes, I get it! That. Are you done? Right. She agreed to marry me! Congratulations, Jenya! You have a daughter! <sighs> Allah! Allah! Where have you been? They can't reach you! But who? Where's her phone? Well, it's somewhere. Why? Julia's given birth. Thank you. I'll have some Shameless girl. How about you? How? Oh. How happy am I? Seven pounds, 19 inches! <sighs> and who what? It's a girl. <sighs> All right, doctor. Congratulations. Both mother and baby are perfectly fine. Well done, doctor. <sighs> well, we didn't have any choice, did we? <sighs> I feared the complications. Well, you did great. You held a baby until the heartbeat stabilized. 
That tight entanglement? <clears throat> you were right to go Gynaprol, though it was risky. <clears throat> well, thank you. You did great. Thank you as well. Listen. I'm sorry you're having issues and I'm bothering you. Of course not. You've helped us a lot. If you hadn't said it, we wouldn't have known what to do at the time. Ivan was really terrified. And I was scared too. Mm. Because I wasn't sure if... I know the effect of Gyper knowledge. <laughs> Gynepral. <laughs> oh, uh, Gynepral. I think you're a doctor, Alexei. That can't be true. Maybe some sort of a doctor, like a veterinarian or nurse. But I just read about it. Besides, my father was an army doctor. Perhaps it is just in my genes. I don't know. Maybe a memory passed down. I doubt it. So let me congratulate you now on your newborn. So let's change the bandages. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Doctor. <laughs> Goodbye, thank you very much. You know what? I actually think that... Yeah? Alexei was actually getting his medical degree. Yesterday he helped Dima. Today you saw what happened. In that case, he should go back to university and get that degree. But Ivan, he could be a nurse here, why not? Alright, and then what's gonna happen next? The two of them move in here? Sell their herbs. All right, forget about the herbs. Alexei doesn't even remember anything. He has amnesia. He can't remember his profession, his family, or his father. But he remembers medical terms. Well, it may help Fine, him. Fine, I get it. Let's give him a week with strict supervision. <laughs> but no nonsense. I'm the doctor here. Is that clear? Uh-huh. All right. The Chevrolet in the video belonged to Mr. Govorov, which he already sold. Let's find apartment 12. I remember something. <sighs> Told you, there's nobody. Just wait a minute. Who's there? Uh, hello sir, we're looking for Mr. Andrei Govorov. Well, that's me. We're from the investigation committee. What's the matter? It's about a car, a blue Chevrolet, N504AS. Do you remember it? Oh. I already saw that thing. We know you sold the car and the person who bought it. Yes, and that man actually died two years ago. What do you mean? It simply means that the buyer used a fake passport. Do you understand? And you sold a high-risk vehicle to him. You're responsible. You own that car. Hold on. Can you describe that man to us? Maybe there was something special about him, like tattoos. I don't know. Tell us. He was just ordinary. Bald, small, thin, and very nervous. Let me guess, he also had the hiccups, right? He had a big scar, just like this. Well? Well, what? Why are you so silent? Tell me what's wrong. Everything's wrong. He he just described some, some cartoon character. Do you believe what he said? Small, thin, and bald? And what? A scar on the forehead? I don't buy it. Then we need to run all men with a scar through a database. All right, listen. I already received the results of the test on the sneakers you brought in yesterday. And then? Well, the blood found on the sneakers matches Andrea's samples. Also on the stone. I see. Marina, remember you're a professional. You're not here as a woman in love. And as a professional, you can't just... Ignore some obvious things around you. You have to understand by now that we're not looking for Andreev anymore, Marina. We're just looking for his body. As a professional, thank you. But as a woman in love, please get out.
Well, I could understand if you forgot your full name, but how could you forget those you love and those close to you? These aren't just facts, but your I emotions and true feelings. That's how it is. It's all wasted. No, you might remember something, I have no doubts. But why did that woman slap me in the face? You know, you were actually dating Nastia. When she graduated from school, you proposed to her and then you suddenly left. But where? I don't know, you ran away. She was pregnant, and then her mother told her to get an abortion. That's why she can't have a baby now, after what happened. All right, looks like I deserve it. But you're really a different person now, Alexei. That's so kind of you, but... You don't know me now. I mean, in my new life. <laughs> in your past life, I was younger. I was seven years younger. You didn't notice me. By the way, that's my house. Uh... Well, good night. Good night, too. Hey, did you bring any food? You're such a fool, Dima. So why on earth didn't you inform me about your heart problems? That's the first thing. Aside from that, do you remember your condition? Your legs mm -hmm. were trembling. Mm -hmm. That's second. And the third Come is the on, medication. Tatiana. I'll go back to the hospital. I came to spend a night with my girl and now she isn't happy to see me. What can I do, huh? You're such a fool. <laughs> oh, Dima. <clears throat> Just be careful tonight. You can't be lifting heavy weights, okay? Oh, I know weights, that. Okay? Don't worry. So, Tatiana, anything else? What else can I do now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're already here. Honestly, Glasha and I were worried. If you can imagine, a lot has happened. Uh-huh. Well, I helped to deliver a baby. Oh, and how? Well, I got an offer to be a nurse. Oh, wow. So, so aren't you happy? Well, I am, I guess, and we need the money. Yeah, you're right. So, did you meet anyone? Tell me and be honest. Nasia, she was in the photo, right? Her mother runs the cafe. And then, they remember you. They remember me very well. Well... Back then you really messed up with her, Alexei. That's right. You know, it's all in the past. God has given you a second chance at life. So maybe it's good that you have no memories now. I know you will remember when the time comes, but right now, just live and enjoy your new life. You despise mean people, so please don't act so mean. Listen to your conscience and not your past. You should listen to your heart. So, can I read some medical books? Of course you can. Since you have some obvious medical skills and even some knowledge, maybe you do work in the hospital. You should really look around there. Perhaps you will remember something. I know you'll remember someday. Okay. <laughs> Go and read this book. I will just feed Glasha. The 
human brain is surrounded by cerebrospinal fluids and three brain membranes, while thrombosis is the formation of blood clots in the vessels. The vessel may be any vein or artery, as for example, in a deep vein thrombosis or... Oh. <sighs> Sergey. Oh. Hi, Marina. So tell me, how is my dad? Hello. Tell Nobody me called please. me for anything, so I think he should be fine. Okay. You know, if ever he doesn't want to take his medication, please don't hesitate to tell me. No way, he's a wonderful patient. He's just probably tired of lying on his back. <sighs> You've been struggling and this is awful. I'm sorry. What do you mean? It's just that Pavel is still missing. It's only been a few days. Yes, but he never- Please don't say it, all right? Many things can happen, but for sure there is always an explanation. No, I just... I didn't intend to upset you, so... Do you have any news? Well... We found the sneakers. What? What sneakers? At the switchyard. Right back in Rysk. The locals told us that he was probably thrown into a passing freight train, something like that. Well, if the locals say that, then... There's blood on the sneakers. The test revealed it's his blood. That's it. That doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. Yes. Thank you. You know, everybody thinks I'm going crazy. I'm still believing in miracles. As a neurosurgeon, I can safely say that miracles do happen. You look younger. About ten years. <laughs> well, thank you. So you think that... Pavel could be alive? Dad, I'm sure he's alive. I really don't know how to explain it. I just have this feeling inside of me. I'm absolutely sure of it. But you, as a scientist, don't believe in these magic tricks. Marina. I've been dealing with the human brain all my life, and in the brain I don't see any soul or any conscience. Well, nothing sort of. What makes you think that I don't believe you? If you feel it, then just keep on searching. Just follow your heart. I will. So, how was it? Please see for yourself. Uh. 
Oh. I can see from here that Sergei didn't remove the tumor completely. He couldn't do it. Well, the radiotherapy can manage a small volume. Perhaps he was right not to remove it completely. The radiotherapy? All right. As of the moment, that's what I'm pinning hopes on. Okay. I'll leave before they start looking for me. Maxim, don't show my results to anyone, okay? Don't worry about it. 